All right, it is time to start a new run, and we're going to be playing around with the Infernal Torch, which likely means we're going to have some uh, some short runs here uh, while we figure out just how much more difficult uh, things are. It was 15, Wayne. 15 souls were lost. Don't doubt it for a second. The seat of your denial, perched precariously in the murky gloaming. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. I could go for another week or two. Thank you, though. All right, what are we working with? Peacemaker. 30% chance of positive affinity changes. Hmm, that's interesting. Combat start two of those is very interesting, actually. For the leper, that's pretty sweet. Uh, slugger is also great there. Um, we've we've finished. Have we finished everybody? No, we've not finished the grave robber. Okay, is the grave robber? Mm, the grave robber is not so great this time around. Uh, Kleptomaniacal. Hmm. We haven't tried out... Oh, man. So many... Uh, so many punch drunks here. So I like I like this. I like this. After the final chord has been struck. What would we put in as a third? Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. This doesn't get this doesn't finish off here, but let's let's go with this anyways. I want to try something a little different here. Uh, I like what we have here. Fear of cadavers is eh, uh, but I think hard skinned is very strong. All right, let's uh let's roll without further ado. Uh, we're not going to get the grave robber finished up, but that's okay. Welcome to the valley. The flame, sacred and. The last hope for us all. Oh, that's the last hope for us all is this one torch. There it is. No ups, no downs. Looks like we got ourselves a range trinket that we'll put on Dismas. And a melee trinket that we'll put there. I'm going to toss the bandages. Ah, you really... From this one screen, you really need to be able to give get everybody going like that. But that'll be good. All right. And we are actually going to use that. We stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over. Reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. The Iron Crown. Enigmatic and ubiquitous. Okay, now this is a good moment to check this. If we look at Sarmenti. Friends. Wow, these two are actually surprisingly good friends. So there's some there's some variance that happens with those uh with those attributes. Maybe the person who chooses gets a larger buff? I don't know. Uh, but actually, hold on. Oh, that's what we should check. Okay, so yeah, so these two didn't get it. Interesting. Okay, so the person that you select is the only person whose relationships are going to change. It's not like everyone agrees. That's something we should we'll be able to take more advantage of moving forward. I've never looked at the map in this zone. Wait. I, okay, I guess we have seen all of these things. <laughs> like, hold on. Have any of these things happened? Oh, I didn't change skills, though. Whoops. I always forget to change skills. Uh, I'm just going to burn off the stress. I don't think we need anything more than that. 
perfection. An unavoidable end. He's roasted. All right. Some milk soaked linen is very nice to pick up. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Put that there. Clotting trinket can go here. But now okay, let's let's for a moment give some consideration to what we want. That all looks good. I think I take slice off over harvest every damn day uh and then we're playing a three four double cross is pretty nice i don't think we're i don't think we're gonna be doing a well we may actually do some duelist advance uh i'm gonna skip tracking shot skip take aim Well, so I'm going to skip Wicked Slice. Let's go with that setup. Grape Shot Blast is interesting. Just doesn't do enough damage, I feel like. All right, this is where... The table is set. This is where this things get serious. Once equipped, this cannot be taken off. Oh, the blue torch. It's cool. Inspiring tune is just the way to go. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Hmm, this is a very bad provisioner. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Let's, uh, who, who are the ones that were, like, super far ahead? Yeah, Sermentian Plague Doctor. So let's... Does that only give them one? I only gave them one pip. Uh, Slow Crypt Skills, are you sure you want to exit? No, wait. Did I not... Put on a final skill here? Guess I did not. Playout is interesting. All right, I guess that's all we got. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your path and ride out unbowed. We could go sleuth, sluice right off the bat. That seems ill-advised on a dark run. So I think we're going sprawl. At least three resistance encounters is a little tough, but we'll try and do it. Our great cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. I expect the sluice would have just flat out killed us, but we got the blue torch going, so that's something. Are these, were these torches always blue? Behold, okay. The great cities of man. Ruined and a flame. Okay, so let's see. Let's so we don't need to go to the hero shrine. But let's go left anyways. Cause I mean mastery points are good, right? Don't get me wrong. We'll never get ambushed. So that's one of the benefits. But hold on, let's let's look at what uh, what the negatives are here. We get more crit. We get more chance for affinity changes. The enemies get plus speed. Yeah, fifty percent, and half of the time they'll have more. Uh, oh, oh, this is our first time seeing the oasis as well. That's interesting. Ooh, very nice.
We don't get the... I mean, I think we do this. We didn't need anything from there. Because we, we're not going to be able to get the the torch benefit. Um, I think we go left. Because assistance encounters aren't going to be that useful. But uh, I'm, I'm sensitive to the fact that we're picking up some stress right off the bat. Um, triage kit is nice. Doesn't matter who we pick. Wow. A lot of votes for question mark. And we have two question marks to choose from. For across the nation of the inevitable is futility itself. Um... I want to start getting some fights, and we're locked into going to the cultist encounter if we go this way, so let's go left. Knocks off a lot of stress. Now, before we get here, someone has... Well, why do we just take a stress there? Excuse me? Oh, we got two triage kits, too. That's nice. Okay, plus damage. Do that to make some friends. Not bad. An unavoidable end. Now you are blinded, so we will we will intimidate here. That gets rid of him. Oh, we didn't change our plague doctor's uh configuration. That's a unforced error. Leper can certainly take it. Uh, there's no point in not solemnitying here, because the fight is the fight is over, uh, basically. Um, oh, I don't like that. I can't double tap front rank. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to think about. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the Four laudanum is redemption. huge. The consumables have been really good. Now, why didn't I swap these up? I'm gonna let ounce of prevention go, and we're gonna pick up plague grenade and magnesium rain. Okay. We got a resistance encounter, or uh, an assistance encounter anyways, which is not that useful. Although maybe they are useful, because we don't have to worry about tanking our torch, do we? Hmm. Desperate and wanting. Will you rebuff their earnest pleas? I guess we do this one. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Okay. One of those is a trinket, I think. Yeah. If anyone's going to be taking hits that might give disease, it's going to be you. Okay, two votes for question mark here. 
Oh, and we need to get three resistance encounters. We got one here, two here, three here. I think we're going to get them. Okay. Ugh. So many assistance encounters. Come on, game. I can't avoid them. Who did watchers howl to their horrid kin? Got it. Okay. All right, extra hit points. Oh, very annoying. Uh. Did that to get rid of the blind. So I can hopefully secure that on them. Very slow start here, though. Uh, and her getting the, the resist is kind of a bummer. Uh, oh, I can't double cross because I'm not in the front ranks? Interesting. Uh, Doesn't really matter who we do that on. We just want to get the get the defense up. We've had insane rolls on uh, so far on hitting through dodges and whatnot. Ooh, I like that effect. That's nice. I shouldn't have Magnesium Rain on for this area. Okay, has dodge. Uh, yeah, just do that. Get our get our taunt nice and high. Uh, Oh, I guess we got to resist on the blind there. Mm. I love I love that effect and how it creates like the little skull. Very nice. Uh We can just do that. He's going to be our last kill target, so we can just let that tick for a while. The slow suffering begins. There's a lot of fire on the table right now. Five to nine. I guess that vulnerable isn't that useful. Uh, I probably shouldn't prioritize it. The slow suffering begins. I'm saying four or thirteen. All right, we can get rid of him. So I'm gonna do that. Even though we didn't get the taunt up, I think it's okay. This guy's annoying. If, yeah, he keeps doing that infernal taskmaster thing. What is the buff? Ooh, okay. Nasty. He's not quite dead, so we intimidate here. Hope that it hits. Nope. No luck. Let's 
so annoying. Are we even going to get through this? I don't know. Okay, for us to win, we got to... Oh, even if we do, I don't know if we're going to get it. And I might be risking our leper unnecessarily here. No, we can't get it. Unfortunate. Ah, boo. All right, well, first, uh, first casualty of, uh, of the dark run. Those were some nasty folks. I didn't really dilly dally. Uh, let's just do this one. Okay, we didn't get. We didn't get much interesting there, but let's see. We can milk soaked linen across the board here. Let's put caltrops there, laudanum there, and then I guess more milk soaked linen there. Okay. okay. A lot of votes for the fight, which is good. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the middle fight here. Analysis is invaluable until it becomes an excuse for inaction. Hey, settle down, Baldwin. Yeah, I should have realized we were losing that one sooner. Because we could have uh, we could have done more recovery. Okay. Steady yourself. Oh, so much stress. Uh, A simple kindness. So I think actually blinding gas here, because it might neutralize the crit or do nothing. It might also just do nothing. Uh, I should have thought of that as a possible uh, outcome. Could take this ghoul out, but I think it's always smarter to try and buy down. You can't blind and gas twice in a row either, is like very unfortunate. What is Okay, I need oh. Is every they're oh they're the super resist version. Oh, and I just got a disease. I even put the disease trinket on, and here we are getting wasting. Oh. Okay. Kind of like this idea. Giving the leper two turns to kind of like drop the hammer on this guy once and then also do a solemnity to get his hit points up. Gonna do that. That's perhaps a little bit of a waste. Uh, I don't want to put you in the back, so let's just bleed him. Messy. 
but effective. <laughs> Great voice line. Don't like that, though. We got a lot of damage we need to do here. Uh, not a lot of time to do it. Gonna decrease our stress again. Five to nine isn't bad for double tap. But we're going to need a lot more uh, and I think I have to do that like we can't uh, we can't play that fast and loose okay last round does he have death blow resist 25% you hate to see it um, 4 to 8 4 to 8 2 to 5 So, okay, so he has six hit points left. This does three to six. Double tap does six to 12, okay. So we will get one chance at the death blow. Uh, all right, we did get it, nice. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Now, is that the same? Trinket that we already have on Dismas. Looks like yes. So I guess we put that there and we press forward. Hold on, before we get to this resistance encounter, uh, there's no point in having that. Orienting Blast is interesting. Now, Double Tap just seems hard to use. Uh, maybe we put Point Blank Shot and we... And we shuffle Dismas and Baldwin a little bit. I think that might be a play. Haven't fully figured out this, this comp, clearly. Gargantuan. Lovely. Some annoying shenanigans right off the bat. Uh, that and then hmm that's going to complicate things a wee bit Fourteen's not bad though now here's the problem if we lunge forward with the jester we're going to end up putting uh, dismiss all the way in the back. Mm, maybe we do this. Three to five. You have ten. Who are you almost... Who are you not friends with? Let's, uh, Baldwin we don't want to make friends with, though. I mean, we do, but... Mm, let's have you... Knock one off Sermenti. Hope to get some friendship out of that. And then... I think we... I think we just lunge up and get the repost going. I do like that combo when that turns out 
the way that that turned out there. Uh, we need to get rid of the wasting sickness, though, in a big way. Uh, they were relatively healthy anyways, so I don't think that's the end of the world. We'll take that stuff off when we have the opportunity. This is all we can do from here. Interesting. The slow suffering begins. Doing a great job spreading the stress. Uh, I commend them for that. An opportunity squandered. Taking seven. It's dead. Or on death store, that is. Okay. I need to neutralize this guy a little bit. I don't really want to take the, the strength damage here. So I'm going to just put up repost, I think. I'd rather have a big hit go in on our leper, which we can put some healing in on. Mm. Everybody kind of needs it, which is not great. She better die. We've been, uh... We've been struggling with this for a hot second here. Uh... Oh my gosh. This wasn't even a... This wasn't even a death door improvement. She's just cheating death like crazy. Plague Doctor can't heal themselves? That's not great. That was my plan. My plan was flawed. Uh, is a lesson learned. I think we do Solemnity just for the healing anyways. Just for the stress healing, that is. All right. Scavenge what you can. Have we already used all our large uh, triage kits? Hey, uh, uh, Stefan, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your, uh, what day is it, Monday going? Yeah, we have used the large triage kit. Uh, we're trying out an infernal uh, an infernal run right now, which is, uh, is a first for me. It was just added in the last patch. Are you a, uh, are you a player of Darkest Dungeon 2? Alright, we're headed to the Hoarder. We'll have a little bit of money for it. Ah, so, uh, so I'm currently on the East Coast, and my schedule has been completely thrown off. Uh, I had to travel back East to take care of a family member who got sick, so I'm just playing uh, games in a four-day loop right now so i don't really have a certain days or certain things unfortunately uh so i apologize for for throwing things off a bit uh but uh but yeah right now 
I, I basically spent the last month not streaming because of the medical emergency that I was helping with. And, uh, and now I'm just kind of like, every day I play whatever game is next in the rotation. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it being on Steam too. I will tell you what, uh, it is, it is very sad that, it, that the, they decided to do the early access as a uh, Epic Games exclusive. I understand though, uh, you know, they, uh. They got paid for it, so can't blame them too much. But uh, but yeah, so my my short version is my schedule is uh, pretty ridiculously uh, messed up right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping it settles down at some point in the near future, uh, and I'll be able to like figure out a schedule that works a little better. But uh, but for now. Oh wait, how did I get targets on these? Interesting. Uh, let's just do with Stan to try and focus this guy's fire. Um, but yeah, I did. Uh, I did play some RimWorld. Not yesterday, but day before yesterday, uh, and had an awesome time with it. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a good night of RimWorlding, to be sure. Uh, okay, now this. This to me. Do we try and secure the kill here? I don't think so. I think we... Mm. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to heal with the Plague Doctor instead. I'm trying to build some friendship, right? All right, well, that's nice, because if this wasn't on cooldown, that would have been nice. Uh... Trying to think if we use an encore here. I was gonna say, I think that just that just secures the secures the kill. We'll get the the stress heal next time, I think. Three, four. Let's finish her off. I think I'm gonna stall here for a second. So I'm gonna hit hit the solemnity here. Yes, uh, yes, Stefan. Um, I, I really like the animal changes. Uh, so animal pens I think are very cool. I also really like uh, the animal filth mechanic because it helps to balance what, it, what was otherwise kind of like a uh, exclusively positive uh positive aspect of the game um but yeah i i've really been enjoying it quite a bit i don't want to waste no yeah, let's just let's just drop the hammer am i gonna get much more out of this yeah with the plague doctor i would get another heal so let's uh let's slow roll it a little um i did do a uh a patch notes video on uh on some of the changes that were made, and there was a more recent patch that just came out that I have not gotten around to uh, to doing a review of, but I really like the most recent patch from last week. No when, uh, when Ideology first came out, uh, Tynan has now kind of like confirmed that he made some balancing errors with the game, and basically, end game, it became, you only get rated by mechs, and those rex mechs are exclusively breach raids, and it really, really made the game feel very samey and not fun to play. So uh, the most recent patch corrected that, and it's been a huge boon to creating a more dynamic feeling game. If flame less than 40, stun resist 33% is pretty nice. Uh, I would have probably picked up the corrupting cleaver if we had enough relics, but we're not even that close. So, food barrel, no. Compress kit, no. We could pick up the laudanums. The tools of violence. At that price point, I will Dangerous. I will take all your laudanums, Mr. Hoarder Man. Uh, let's see. And then... I want to get the laudanums out here. 
This part of the uh, of the interface of Darkest Dungeon 2, I'm looking forward to them improving. Uh, and actually, I want to put this on anyone but the, anyone but the Plague Doctor. There we go. Because I, I want people to be able to heal the Plague Doctor. But uh, it's very difficult. The, the item management is quite awkward. So let's see. You want to go to the fight. Uh, collection can wait. One. Onward. Two. We're guaranteed three. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Nah, I'm going to go to the fight. I need... I want more fights. We need more mastery points. Uh, even though I would have liked to have concentrated it. As far as the eye can see. Yes, absolutely. So, so my current playthrough... Uh, is uh oh elites uh my current playthrough is is very heavy on polar bears and uh and being able to sterilize polar bears has been an absolute blessing uh without a doubt uh it makes it so much easier to manage like especially large groups of haulers uh has been really nice Yeah, there there have been so many nice quality of life improvements uh, that I uh, that I really enjoy. Um, let's see, this is pretty good for us actually. I think I'll I'll use one of those. This is not a particularly scary uh, scary fight. Famous last words. Uh, that was. <laughs> Darkest Dungeon and the uh, their ability to know exactly how to get you at exactly the right moment. Let's see. Who are we building a positive relationship with? Well, let's, let's knock a Pippa Stress off here. And then we'll point blank shot you. And then who's going first? Everybody? Well, let's... Get rid of you. A simple variable. Solemnity is going to help. Uh, yeah, as long as the leper doesn't go on to death's door, which they will not, because this guy only does uh, damage when he gets to the front. Um, that's okay. And now we'll, we'll hit him with the follow-up heal. Welcome, relief. Hey, hey. Friendship getting developed here. And we got weakness. I think the weakness is from the death's door. So I'm gonna... This guy we got time on, though. So I'm not too worried about it. What's what's your deal with Baldwin? Alright. Doesn't seem like we're getting positive stress interactions from that, though. Does this, this shuffles. I don't want to shuffle him to the front. So let's just let's just hit him with more blight. So okay, so my thoughts are my thoughts are mixed. Uh, I think right now we're seeing a relatively small portion of Darkest Dungeon 2, and that has a tendency to make it hard to gauge how the, the full game is going to be, right? To a certain extent, what we're seeing right now, my understanding of it, is we're kind of seeing uh, Darkest Dungeon 1 if the Ruins was the only dungeon that existed in the game, right? Except I think it's even... What we're seeing right now is even less than that. Uh, I think that the format is is good from my perspective like i like the i like the fact that the game is no longer this incredibly long long journey and instead you know like a full playthrough is somewhere in the six hour range uh for at least this first chapter yeah we have one of six chapters right now uh let's see who are we gonna make better friends let's do this 
Yeah, so we have one of six chapters, and presumably the chapters are going to chain together, and you are going to progress through them with the same party, potentially, which I think is very interesting. Oh, we got ambushed. All right. But, uh, so, I, I mean, I love the art style. That's, that's probably, uh, the easiest, uh, the easiest thing for me to say is I think that visually and mechanically, there's some really good stuff going on. Uh, I really, I like the, the combos and the way that that kind of portion of the game operates. Uh, how, like, combo tokens are applied and consumed. It gives you a lot more opportunities to have, like, synergies between the characters, which I think is very nice. Uh, I, I think that there's still a lot more balancing to do on making certain enemies, uh, or certain characters not feel essential. That's, that's one challenge that I think, uh, the game still faces, is that the stress healers are, are very, very critical. Um, ooh, hate that. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, build some friendship, and... We're blind at the moment. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and it's a double blind, so I'm just gonna Solemnity. And then, how many hit points do you have? Seven? All right, we're not, we're not getting that back one dead right now. So yeah, so, I mean, overall, I think the, the framework that they have laid is kind of perfect. Uh, I, I think they've done a brilliant job and created what I think is going to be a very compelling, uh, very compelling game. And I think that the fact that it, it follows more of a Slay the Spire type of model, which I don't know if you ever played Slay the Spire, but the, the, the overall length of the game, I think is going to feel much better, you know, a little less epic, obviously, but, uh. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm very hopeful, uh, and I've been having a lot of fun playing it. Uh, obviously, let's see. Let's hit hit him there. I also think the relationship system is really good. Uh, of all of the of all of the additions, the fact that you're kind of manipulating and controlling a party of of characters, and those characters are building sort of complex relationships between one another, I think is really good. Getting that stress at the end of that fight was uh, was frustrating. Okay, plus max HP. We do need to find a field medic. Because uh, we really need to get rid of the disease that we picked up on our leper. That would be nice. Oh, stun resist trinket. Someone can take that. I also like the meta progression. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, clearly. I mean, the this whole map is is not so much a comparison as like clearly they ripped it off from Slay the Spire. But I think the thing that makes me enjoy uh, watching people play Slay the Spire is the fact that the the games feel kind of like tractably understandable, right? So, you know, we can look at this map and we can kind of see where we're going. Whereas when I was playing Darkest Dungeon One, you know, I have I had like a hundred hours of Darkest Dungeon One on Twitch alone. I played like eight hundred hours of the game, but uh, when someone would come in, you know, they wouldn't necessarily easily understand where I was or the context of what I was doing. It's a lot easier to kind of follow through with this, I think. Um, so I, I think there's there's some real benefits to that as it makes the game a little more uh, engaging and approachable. Uh, the encumbrance system I don't like. The food system in this is, uh, terrible. Uh, probably the, the worst single aspect of the game from my perspective oh, is, uh, is the fact that food is basically worthless. Um, now we only need one more resistance encounter. And I think, yeah, I'm going to go to the lair even though... It's kind of of questionable utility, but Dismas is getting up there on stress. We'll be able to hit them, hopefully, with a stress heal pretty quickly. And uh, and we'll get our last resistance encounter no matter what we do. 